Let's go. Seven to one years ago, I was assembled here by God, and I'm immensely grateful that I am early to be 71. By the grace of God, I probably have many more years to go because I come from a family that enjoys longevity. My father died at 96. I aspire to get there. I may be a sinner, but I'll cut down on my sins so I can get to that level. And with your prayers too, I think I can get there. I want those of you watching me to wish me happy birthday. I think I deserve it. Don't you think so? Thank you. My message to Nigerian youths, they should persevere in whatever they are doing. Unfortunately, the old ones in politics like us don't want to make way for the young ones, which is why we're not progressive, you know. All over the world, they have very young men who are taking over the reins of power. You go to France, uh, Sweden and all that, you know. These are young men in their 30s, right? Let us give the young men a chance. The young men too should give themselves a chance, not indulge in uh, a lot of things that should weaken them mentally and physically. Let them to have a chance. They deserve to run this country, right? And that's what I mean. I mean, today, gladly, I'm in Africa. Why am I in Africa? Because the king of the place where I am has invited me. He is the patron of the movie industry. He's a great friend of those of us who are in the industry. And he remembers that whenever he wants to do anything, he invites us to be around. So Africa has become a second home to me. Do I look forward to being made a chief in Africa? I think I, I look forward to that because um, <laughs> I like the way most of their masquerades dance, so I'm likely to make a chief here before too long. I will campaign for that. I am satisfied with being, I'm a very big chief, a very, very big chief. So I'm satisfied with being a, a big chief. I don't want to be a king. The, the involvements are too many. But being a chief, there are things that follow being, I mean, I am here, for example, my friend and brother, who is the king, celebrates a little birthday for me. Because I'm a king, when I'm going home, I expect to be given a big ram. <laughs> and I'll take the ram. I don't go and be a chief. But if I'm a king, I'll be the person giving out things and I don't have, so it's good to be a chief so that things will come to your hand instead of being a king. So I'm very happy about it. Donald Trump is my age mate, but I will not get into politics, no. I have another age mate, uh, Sylvester Stallone is my age mate, Arnold Schwarzenegger is my age mate, uh, what about the other guy who has turned himself into a woman, who, Elton John, we're all age mates, we're all 71 years old. They are free to get into politics. I am not. I am satisfied with being a movie actor. A lot of people love you because of what you do. If you get into politics today, all your followers should be divided. I am driving down the street and people are waving and I'm waving back. I get into politics now. Those who are waving to me will be taking sides. I don't like our own brand of politics, so I will not get into it. Um, I'm a Nigerian. I'm a Nigerian of Igbo extraction. Um, I believe very much in culture, and I like to promote culture, and I'm glad about it. I don't want to be any other thing outside what I am. If people call me a cultural ambassador, I will acknowledge it. I say thank you very much. I believe in our culture, because if you don't have a culture, your life is meaningless, right? I am in Africa. Africa has a lot of culture. Watching the Amasquerade so only will keep attracting me down to this place. You know, it's okay, it has culture, which I love. I love culture a great deal. Um, anybody who doesn't love culture is dead. <laughs> Simple. Yeah.
Let's go.